Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean from Sean Does DIY. And the other day I was using my old bandsaw and a piece of the blade guide broke and just fell away. So instead of trying to fix it or you know use it broken because I don't want to lose my fingers, I decided to get a new one. So I went ahead and picked up this nine inch Ryobi bandsaw. And in this video, we're gonna take it out of the box and we're gonna put it together and check it out. So let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to let you know I am not sponsored or endorsed or whatever by this company. I went out and purchased this myself uh, because I needed a new bandsaw. All right, so let's get this box open and see what's inside. All right, my old bandsaw was pretty old. I had it for quite a while. Um, and it's not surprising it broke. It gets a lot of use. So, all right. See what we got in here. All right, instruction manual underneath the table. The, uh, the table here. Let's see. All right, let's get the table out. Cool. Oop. All right, instruction manual, a handle, another LL Allen key. Got about a million of those. All right, we don't need that. Let's see. Oh, this is all one piece. That's cool. Oh, see if we can get out of here. There we go. There we go. I'm sure it doesn't fall over here. All right, and the miter gauge. All right, doesn't look like there's anything else in the box. All right. Oh, it's not too bad, it's not too heavy. Cool. Looks like the blade's already installed. Doesn't look like this is gonna be a hard assembly. <laughs> Not much to it. All right. Kind of paperwork we got in here. Instruction manual and an ad for some cordless stuff. Let's get the table. Pretty nice. All right, let's take a look here. Plastic covers, that's all right. Pretty much standard these days. Blades off the wheels. Oh. <laughs> All right. We'll end up adjusting that. That definitely needs to be tensioned. All right. Well, <laughs> this blade being a little bit of a booger. All right, Maybe we can get this thing on here. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna put some tension on it. Probably should read the instructions before I start turning a bunch of knobs and mess everything up, huh? All right, it's a little different than my old one. All right, let's see what we got here. Assembly. All right, unpack, we did. All right, inspect the tool carefully. Looks like it's not broken. All right. Ba -ba -ba. Mounting a bandsaw to a workbench. Clamping bandsaw to a workbench. Mounting to the saw table. All right. Let's see. Remove the switch key. All right, where's the on off switch? Anybody see the switch? Oh, right here, it's covered up by the sticker. All right, well, it's not plugged in, so I'm not concerned about that. All right. A 
remove the D-nut, washer and wing screw on the saw table. All right, removed. Standing at the front of the bandsaw, we'll just turn it around so I'm at the front. All right. Hold it with my left hand while pulling the angle adjustment knob away from the saw frame. All right. This must be the angle adjustment knob. All right. Hit the pins on the frame into the slots on the say onto the table bracket. Well, like this, I guess. Oh, and these pins right here. Pull that away. Well, that's not as easy as it looks, huh? There we go. All right. Pretty easy. Okay. Table lock lever. Okay. Right there. All right, we'll adjust it once it's all put together. All right, make sure that blade isn't gonna fall out. All right, put this thing back on. I can hold on to it. There it goes. All right. So we're just putting this back on the on the table here. All right. All right. All right. We'll square that up later. Let's get the. Uh, Reason best saw, turn the blade tension knob on top of the saw clockwise to engage tension. Get this blade on here. does not want to stay on. Blade is kind of kind of warped. All right. There we go. Check the blade tracking. We do the. All right. I mean, that's pretty much assembly of this uh, saw. So let's uh, kind of close these panels up. There you go. That's assembled. A little blade was a little tricky, a little funky, but uh, yeah. So. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do the, we'll get the table squared up and we'll check the blade tracking and then we'll cut some stuff. All right, see you in a minute. 
Now that the saw is assembled, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the table is square to the blade and that the blade is tracking good. All right, so I'm gonna spin it around here. And so we can see the adjustment knobs for the table. All right, so you can uh, loosen it up here with this one, and then this is your, make your adjustment, or you know, your bevel. All right, so let's check 90. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose like that. And I'm gonna got my uh, combination square. I just took the ruler out. And I'm gonna set it up against the table, or on the table, I'm gonna just kiss the blade, I just slightly kiss the blade. All right, and I wanna push on the blade and get a false reading. So let's see, gonna look at it, that looks pretty good. We can make a slight adjustment. So to adjust the table on this one is, is on this particular saw is pretty good. Now, you know, obviously you're gonna check your own saws, you know, operating instructions or manual to see it. But on the back here, there is a, a, a adjustment screw. So what we wanna do is we're gonna loosen up, if I can get my wrench on there, we're gonna loosen up this lock nut, okay? <laughs> Maybe, there it goes, all right. So I'm gonna loosen that up, and I'm just gonna raise this up just a little bit, there, so I can get my fingers on it. All right, and once you loosen up the lock nut, you can turn this screw in and out to, so where it's, where it's a stop, basically. All right, so we're gonna take it down to 90. All right, I'm gonna lock it in, see what it looks like. And that looks pretty good to me. All right, I'm gonna lock it in, and I'm gonna tighten my lock nut on, the t on here real quick. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we can set the um, dial indicator. And for whatever reason, it's pointed down. I guess that's the way they ship it. So we'll just spin that around and we'll set it on zero. Let me turn this so I can see it. Oop. There we go. All right, let's see. Set that to zero. That looks pretty good. So we can take a look and see what it looks like at 45. Uh, <laughs> can't imagine really cutting that too many on that. All right, but we'll spin it around, see what it looks like. Dial indicator at 45 right there. We'll lock it in. Let's see what it looks like here. That looks pretty good. All right. I'd say that the table is adjusted and aligned. All right. All right, so now we're gonna check the tracking of the blade. I'm gonna spin it back around. We're gonna open up the doors. Okay. So basically what we're looking for is we wanna just spin it by hand. Make sure that the blade is not moving off the wheels. Looks good, I'm gonna come around to the front here. And this one's nice, it's got a little window here when the door is shut. You can actually watch the blade, make sure it's not uh, you know, moving on you. So that actually looks pretty good. I don't really see any need for adjustments on that. But on this particular saw, on the back side is a tracking knob, so you can turn this left or right depending on where your blade might be going. All right, but I'm gonna leave that as is, looks good. And we're going to plug it in and make sure there's no crazy sounds or anything. All right, the doors are shut. All right, come back around on this side and I'm gonna move it like this so I can see it. And we're gonna plug it in. Make sure the switch is off. All right, it's off. All right, let me grab my safety gear. Oh, before I do, yeah, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little, little love here with some paste wax. Nice clean rag. Just lightly put some paste wax on there. Helps everything slide smooth and protects the surface. All right, looks good. All right, 
So let's go ahead and turn it on. Now I'm not going to put my ear defenders on just yet. I will put my safety glasses on because I want to be able to actually hear it, make sure there's no crazy sounds going on. All right, plugged in. All right, here we go. Sounds pretty good. That's a lot quieter than my old one. All right, so I'm going to take a look inside here. Make sure there's no crazy blade movements. Looks good, sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Wait for the blade to stop. And let's do a test cut. I just got a piece of scrap plywood here. Now, when you're using a bandsaw, you wanna make sure that when you're lowering, you know, when you have your, your piece of wood on there, your workpiece, you wanna make sure that the blade guide is uh, about an eighth inch or so. You want it close to your, your top of your surface, but you know, enough that you can push your piece through. All right, I'm gonna lock it down. All right, this time I'm gonna put my ear defenders on. All right, let's, peel, let's cut a piece, see what it looks like. Nice. All right. Got a little crazy on the curve there, bind up a little bit, but man, that looks good. All right, I can't wait to get to get started with this thing. So cool, so there it is. That's the Ryobi nine inch uh, bandsaw. Uh, super easy to put together, pretty easy to uh, adjust if you need to. Um, yeah, so hey, if you found this video helpful and you liked it, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna subscribe to the channel, that'd be pretty cool too. Um, you can hit that bell and get notifications when I put new videos out. Um, cool. Let's go make some sawdust. Hey, don't forget, before you make a cut, know where your fingers are. So later on, later on you're not asking, where are my fingers? All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.